force the 12th career victory in first quarter this season second at Las Vegas. And second four-wide win has now completed the both four-wide tracks with a victory. Took the win in the final round over some of the greatest of all time, including Tony Schumacher, Antron Brown, and Steve Torrance, representing the last eight Top Fuel World Championships consecutively in 16 in total. A statement victory. Excellent job on the starting line. Brittany, take us through your race day. Uh, awesome race day. You know, we qualified pretty well, number two, and, and we got four qualifying sessions this weekend. So we made three out of the four. We're pretty dang good. So going in today, it was just consistency. Uh, we had, you know, we had our eye on a specific lane and it didn't always go that way, but we got the job done in a couple different lanes. So we were able to, you know, figure it out and get the car down there and turn some wind lights on. But really just looking all day, we had a tough lineup. Um, you know, first round semis and then that final round, like you said, Antron Brown, Tony Schumacher, and Steve Torrance. So it was not easy. It was tough all day long for this Monster Energy Flavor Pack team. Uh, David Grubnick, Max Savage, all our guys, uh, we pulled it off and excited to do it at Four White. Haven't, I won here uh, Las Vegas 2 in 2019 with these guys, but uh, we haven't done Four White, so it's a new one to add to our list. Let's open it up to members of the media. Phil Burgess is going to start us off. You've had such a good driver with Steve Torrance over the last couple of years, and to race him all three times, this you know, you had him in the first round, you beat, uh -huh. you, you beat him in the semis, you beat him in the final. Talk about that. Yeah, that was the one thing I pointed out, how tough our, you know, quads were every single time. We had Steve in every single quad, obviously, and that's, you know, it's tough trying to, you know, keep up with him and make sure we got around him in that final, and we got it, we got it done. He had lane choice over us, you know, one of the runs, we got it back on him, and uh, we figured it out in the final round. Next question for Brittany, Josh from NHRA. Brittany, you, we've talked about the, the final round. Do, does this, beating guys like that, and obviously you're you're part of that group with eight straight championships with, with your world title, does that make this win sweeter when it comes against you know a group like that and you're able to pull it out? Absolutely. To be able to look at that final quad and see the guys that we were good enough to pull up next to and then beat them all, it's something that you know we're very proud of. I'm, you know, proud just to share the lanes with those guys, to be able to race against them. I, you know, watched Tony Schumacher when I was out here watching my dad as a kid. So to be able to line up next to him is just something very exciting. And then to go ahead and, you know, turn the wind line on is even better. All right, our next question. Chris Bishop, Racing Pro Media. Brittany, uh, this was a final, it was an all-star final. You come out on top of this. What does this mean for momentum going into the rest of the season? It's just, it just builds and builds. Um, this just lights a, you know, fire under all of us and motivates us, puts that extra energy that, you know, maybe we've lost over the last few races because we have struggled. And um, really, it's just getting in that winner circle with your team. There's no better feeling than that. It means all your hard work, everything you put in all season long, not just all weekend long, but all season long. Now it's paying off because you get to celebrate together and there's no better feeling than that. Tom Zolisky, I'm kind of today. Brittany. What was the preparation like for the for, as you headed into the final? Your opponents familiar, obviously. Uh, are there head games? Are you are you comfortable enough? To, you're comfortable enough racing against them to not worry about things as much. Really, it's just there's too much going on. If one car is not enough, now you have you know three in the lane next to you, and there's too much thinking going on. And for me, when I pull up there and I'm trying to cut a good light and keep my focus, I can't be thinking about all that. And now you're adding more into the mix, which just makes it far more complicated. And I don't need to be go up there, you know, worrying about that. So for me, I pull up there and yeah, I know who I run, but I'm not even thinking about it. I don't know who's in the lane next to me. I don't know who's two down for me. It doesn't matter who we're up against. It's about me getting this car down there first and, you know, stepping it up, improving and turning on a wind light. It doesn't matter who's up there with us. Thank you very much. Any additional questions? Brittany, this was a statement race for you as a driver in many ways. Over the past couple of years, uh, reaction time has been something that you wanted to focus on, even during the offseason, even last year working on it. This race, you were strong all through qualifying, all through eliminations. Um, did you do something different? Were you working on something different? But you were on it every run down the racetrack. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, it's just my you know, pulling up there. I just had a different attitude about it, different approach. And um, it's just, I found something different that I think worked for me. And it's just, you know, firing myself up, but also calming myself down at the same time. Um, it's finding that energy, but, you know, really taking a deep breath, bringing your heart rate down, because 
when you pull those belts in and you get in that you get suited up you get in that car and they pull those belts down your heart goes through the roof it's like your heart's going to come out of your chest and it's like take a deep breath calm down because you know i've been here all hyped up crazy and it doesn't seem to work for me so try to calm yourself down and really focus and really what it was this was such a cluster with everybody up here you, there's too much to think about that i just thought I'm not going to think about anything or worry about anything. I'm going to focus on my own lane, and that seemed to work for me. It, did, it really did. Your reaction times throughout uh, qualifying and eliminations were all very consistent. I think that means trouble for the other teams out there because you guys have been able to perform so well. Let's talk about that 338 mile per hour in the final round. Yeah, How'd that that's feel? pretty outstanding. Um, is that my top uh, mile per hour then? You have, you have, one one of the national record. One, what? You have the national record. Yeah. The national record holder, so yes. as far as... Uh, and you said it here. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. Those run okay. over 338. Yeah. Just over, but 338 okay. is in St. Josh. One more question. Well, just looking at the, the state of the class, counting the, the four finals here, we've had 10 different people advance to a final on top few already this year. You're fourth different winner. Um, you've been in this class a while now. You've seen the, the state of competition. Does, does this really jump out at you, just the, the level of talent in the field this year? Absolutely. Coming into this year, I knew it was going to be tough. A lot of changes were made. Um, a lot of drivers came back that you hadn't seen in a couple years. Uh, crew chiefs swapped over to other places. And coming into this seat, we got I, we got our teammate, Austin Brock, back. That's even, even though he's a teammate, he's also competition at the same time. So coming into this season, my guys and I, you know, chatted, had a talk, and we all thought, this is going to be the toughest year yet. So I'm excited. Um, it excites us all. It just, you know, pumps us up for turning on wind lights like we did today because it means you really freaking figured it out. You got the job done, and um, we get to celebrate now. And look ahead to the rest of the year. Everyone is talking about how much energy there is in the National Hot Rod Association with uh, differences in ownership groups and Tony Stewart coming in. Uh, but ultimately, race wins, Wally's championship points and championships are the goal. As you look ahead to Houston and Charlotte, and as we really crank up the schedule, what do you see ahead for this team? Um, I see a great future ahead with this team. I've been with these guys since 2019, and we've had a great run at it. Um, you know, we're chasing the championship last season, and um, it's just a great group. They're the hardest workers I've ever been with. I love every single one of them. They're family to me, and uh, really proud of you know all our efforts that we put in all season long to get us here to this winter circle today. All right, that's our top fuel winner here at the Las Vegas Four Wide. Brittany Force, huge statement victory. Congratulations. Go Thank celebrate. You. Thank you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're going, I don't know what we're doing. I'm going to get to the winner circle first, and then we'll figure it there out. There you go. Congratulations, Brittany. Brittany Force.